Love. What is love? And yes, that is a question that I still ask myself even to this day at the tender age of 37. So I decided to go on a quest and to find out for myself. And the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to ask some experts and hear what they have to say on the question what is love? And so these two people automatically came to my mind and so I decided to ask them what is love? And this is what they had to say, so let's go. I'm gonna ask you guys a couple questions. Okay. So Grace, what is love? Turn it off. Love is food! <laughs> love is food. food. That's your definition? Yes, when someone cooks for me or when I want to show my appreciation, I cook for someone. I'm not answering. Have you ever been in love? Of course. With who? That's not gonna make the cut. That's not gonna make the cut. That's not gonna make the Now, there's not much that I know about love, but there's a couple things that I've come to learn. And that is that love is hard and it's difficult. Love is like one of those words that we toss around very easily. I love tacos. And there's another lesson that I've learned about love, and that is falling in love is easy, but staying in love is much harder. So there's a difference between falling in love and staying in love. You see, one of the popular reasons why a lot of people break up is because they fell out of love. And our society and our culture loves to paint this picture that love must be felt, love must be an emotion, love must be warm. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with love being an emotion, but love is not just a feeling. And if you read the Bible, love is more often described as an action and as a verb rather than a noun. So let's read a couple verses. The first one comes from John 15 and the other one comes from 1 John and it says this, Love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that he laid down his life for his friends. Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. So in these two verses, love is defined as an action. God expressed his love by sending his son Jesus to be that sacrifice on the cross for our sins. And the first John passage tells us to love not only with words, but to love with action and in truth. So now the question is, how do we stay in love? And I think that we first have to acknowledge that staying in love is extremely difficult. It's not easy and it requires a lot of work and a lot of commitment and a lot of effort. And we also have to take our cues from Jesus Christ himself because he was the ultimate example, the ultimate model of love. You see, Jesus, he sacrificed himself for the sake of others, and he was willing to put others first before himself, and he did that to show the ultimate example of love. And in the same way, you and I, we have to make a decision, we have to make a choice every single day that we will put our family and our spouses and our friends first. We have to make that priority every single day. Love is not just a feeling, but love is a verb. Love is an action. Love is a choice to put others first before yourself. So let's go back to the question that I asked at the very beginning of this video, and that was, what is love? And I think we can come to the conclusion and we can say this, that love is an action. Love is a choice. Love is a decision that we have to make every single day. And we know this because the ultimate example of love was through God. God made a choice, God made a decision, God showed action by sending His Son Jesus to die on the cross so that we can have eternal love, so that we could have freedom. And I think that is a great definition of love. Love is action. And so before I go, I do want to give us one practical application, one thing that we could do today to show love. And I've heard this quote many times before, and maybe you've heard it too, and it goes something like this. Love is spelled T-I-M-E. Yes, love is time. And so I want to challenge you today, who is someone that you need to spend time with to show love. Hey, thanks for watching this video and I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope you were blessed by it. And before you go, make sure to hit that like button right down below. And so with that said, take care, God bless, and I'll see you next time. And with that said, Pastor Tim out. Yo.